we need to evaluate the surface integral of dot product of f vector with n vector ds where f vector is given to you and surface of the cylinder is x square plus y square equal to 16 included in the first octant between z equal to 0 and z equal to 5. So this is your cylinder and the range of z is given from z equal to 0 to z equal to 5. So this is your x-axis, y-axis and z-axis and this is the cylinder with range of z to be as from 0 to z equal to 5. Where the surface S of the cylinder included in the first octant, that is in the xz plane. So for xz plane, we are writing ds to be as dx dz divided by mod of n vector dot product with j vector. Right? So this integral is equal to the double integral of dot product of f vector with n vector I'm writing ds as dx dz divided by mod of n vector dot product with j vector over the projection r where r is the projection of s on xz plane now finding the unit vector normal to the surface s which is your n vector so the unit vector normal to the surface S is given by n vector that is equal to grad of which function we have to take the left hand side of the given surface, right? The function in x and y. So grad of x square plus y square divided by its mode. Fine. All right. So this is further equal to, okay, what is the grad of x square plus y square? It is, if you consider this function to be as phi, so grad of phi is curly phi over curly x i vector plus curly phi over curly y j vector, right? So what is curly phi over curly x? It is 2x. And what is curly phi over curly y? It is 2y divided by its mod that is 4x square plus 4y square under the root right okay so this is further equal to 2x i vector plus 2y j vector let's take square root of 4 common from the denominator we get it as 2 and it is under the root of x square plus y square and what is x square plus y square? It is 16. And square root of 16 is 4. So taking 2 common from the numerator, we get xi vector plus yj vector. And that 2 will cancel out with this 2. And we get it as xi vector plus yj vector divided by 4. Right? So let's put this value of n vector over here. So this is equal to double integral over the projection r and what is f vector? It is zi vector plus xz vector minus 3y square zk vector taking its dot product with n vector which is xi vector plus yj vector divided by 4. I'm taking 1 over 4 outside divided by mod of n vector with j vector. Mode of dot product of n vector with j vector. So n vector is x i vector plus y j vector divided by 4. Let me take that in the numerator and its dot product with j vector dx dz, right? And that is equal to double integral over r. Let's take the dot product of these two that is zx plus xy, that's it, divided by. What is the dot product of these two? It is y only, right? dx dz. We can also write this as zx divided by y plus x dx dz. 
Now I need y to be in terms of x, right? So it is given to us that the surface S is x square plus y square equal to 16. From here, I can get the value of y to be as 16 minus x square under the root. And let's put this value over here. We get zx divided by 16 minus x square under the root plus x dx dz. Now everything is in terms of x and z. So let's separate this integrand. That is double integral across r zx divided by 16 minus x square under the root dx dz plus double integral over r x dx dz. Now we need to write the limits for x and z. Right? We need to evaluate the integral for the part of the surface of the cylinder lying in the first octant. That is xz plane. And in xz plane, y is 0. And what is the surface? It is x square plus y square equal to 16. But y is 0 in the first octant, right? So we take here y to be 0. And we are getting the value of x to be square root of 16, which is. But we need to get the value of x to be as 4, right? Because it is in the first octant. And in the first octant, the value of x should be positive. That is why we are getting x to be as 4. So limits of x are from origin to 4. And the limits of z are already given to us. That is from z equal to 0 to z equal to 5. Right? So limits for z are from 0 to 5. So let's put this limit over here. So it is double integral. Limits for x first. 0 to 4. And then limits of z. 0 to 5. So it is zx divided by 16 minus x square square root. dx dz plus double integral from 0 to 4 from 0 to 5 x dx dz. First we need to integrate with respect to x. Now you can also use the substitution method. Just substitute 16 minus x square equal to t and then you will get to solve this integral very easily. z that is the constant for this. 16 minus x square under the root divided by 1 divided by 2 and multiplied by negative 1 half. And the limits from 0 to 4 for x dz. Plus here integrating this x we are getting x square divided by 2 limits from 0 to 4 dz. So that is equal to this half will go by this. And we are getting, just putting the upper limit 4 over here, we are getting 0. And then putting the lower limit 0 over here, we are getting z into square root of 16. That is 4z. So this is integral from 0 to 5. It is, negative sign is also there. It is 4z dz. Which can also be written as now 4z plus this is putting the upper limit. We are getting 16 divided by 2. So this is 8 minus putting the lower limit. We get 0. So it is integral 0 to 5 8dz. So that is equal to. So it is 4 integration for z is z square by 2 limits from 0 to 5. Plus, this is 8z from 0 to 5. So that is equal to, putting 5 here, we get 25 divided by 2. And 4 is also multiplied with this. So we are getting this to be as 4 divided by 2 into 25. Minus, putting the lower limit, we get 0. Plus 8, 5 minus 0. So that is equal to, this is 2. And 2 multiplied with 25, we get 50 plus this is 40.
that is equal to 90 as a required answer to this question. Thank you.